Hello everybody and welcome to Game A Dare. It is day 339 here on Game A Dare. My name is Step and today it is a Wednesday, which isn't anything in particular, but we're working on that maybe. We'll 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 see. Anyway, today on Game A Dare, we going we are going to be playing Kelvin and the Infamous Machine. Kelvin and the Infamous Machine is a hilarious point-and-click adventure in which you stumble irresponsibly through history to help legendary geniuses complete their masterworks. This game has very positive reviews and is available on Steam for $16.99. So, if you want to crack into this game your very own self, you can absolutely do that. But first... Why not join us while we play it? Okay. Oh, gotta put my headphones on. Alright. Ooh. Funky. Hidden picks, credits, settings. Let's just play. Chapter 1. Fifth. <laughs> the brilliance yet chronically overlooked Dr. Edwin Lupin culminates his research into the nature of time itself. Helped by his dedicated assistant, Leaves, and Kelvin, Lupin constructs the world's first functioning time machine, which, for complicated science reasons, looks exactly like a portable shower. When the Science Journal publishes its list of the year's greatest inventions, the time machine is curiously absent. Oh, wait, there it is. Winner of the Lamest Invention Award. Ridiculed for its appearance, the judges have dubbed it the infamous machine award. Dr. Lupin, of course, accepts this setback with grace and dignity. <laughs> uh -huh. second, driven to madness, he launches himself into the past, bent on stealing credit for humanity's greatest work. Can the bumbling Kelvin, driven by a basic understanding of right and wrong, repair the unraveling timeline? Or will he totally blow it and doom the universe to oblivion? Oh, man. <laughs> Driven by a basic understanding of right and wrong. That's got to be my new favorite, like, heroic thing. Vienna, 1804. <laughs> Whoops. Well, great. We're 10 seconds in, and the game already has an 18 plus rating. You know what this reminds me of? Kelvin? Leisure Suit Larry. Kelvin, can you, can you hear me? Ah! Please? Kelvin, you're alive. Are you alright? Well, the water pressure was a little low for my taste, but. Kelvin, focus. Where are you? What do you see? Uh, looks like downtown somewhere. Uh, France, maybe? Okay, good. The system says you're actually in Austria. Austria? Boy, good time, mate. Austria. Oh Kelvin. my god. Not Australia. And it's 1804. So, uh, why oh did my Lupin god. come here? Likely he was after Beethoven. The dog. The composer, Kelvin. According to history, Ludwig von Beethoven penned just four symphonies before retiring in 1804. It's statistically improbable that a man of his genius would end his career so suddenly. You're saying Lupin messed with Beethoven so he could write the rest of the symphonies himself? Exactly. You need to find Beethoven and get him to write his fifth symphony. Got it. So, uh, what does the symphony sound like? Who knows? It's been erased from history. <laughs> uh, Kelvin, the connection's breaking up. Good luck! Don't do anything stupid! Okay. Just your everyday reinforced steel cone. Uh, I'm stealing. Tomorrow night only, Maestro Matthew S. Francis performs his celebrated yawning concerto. Huh, wonder why Lupin skipped this guy. It looks really hot. I don't want to burn my hand. Fair enough. <laughs> Who needs video games? All right, uh, let's talk to this fine upstanding gent over here. 
rummaging through the trash. See, kids, rooting through municipal garbage is safe and fun. Uh. Slow night, huh? Right now, all the rich snobs are next door listening to their rich snob music. That's who drinks here? Rich snobs? Everybody in there is either a rich snob or knows a rich snob. Them's the rules. Ah, uh, any crazy-eyed scientists come through here? Any crazy-eyed scientists come through here lately? You kidding? This is Vienna. Half the people here are crazy-eyed weirdos. Fair enough. How about like a really small crazy-eyed weirdo? Sorry, kid. Pretty much everybody looks small to me. Now move along. Can I go inside? Hmm. No. Why not? This joint has a strict dress code. It does? But you're wearing a ratty old tank top. Do I look like I'm inside? Touche, bouncer. Uh, okay. Do you know if Beethoven is in there? Who? Ludwig van Beethoven, the legendary composer. What's he look like? Crazy hairdo, death glare, kind of hard of hearing. Oh, the deaf guy. Yeah, he's in there. Looked real annoyed about something when he came in. <sighs> okay. So I can go in if I find fancier clothes? Hmm, nope. Well, what else is the matter? You don't look old enough to drink. That's just because I moisturize. Likely story. What year were you born? 2000 and, uh, uh, I mean, uh... Nice try, kid. Go play at the carnival or something. Hmm... I'll be back. I'll be here. All right. Free parking? What a bargain. Yeah, uh, I'm no buggy expert, but whoever owns this one can definitely afford to pay for parking. All right, well, it looks like we've clicked on most everything. So let's go back to the alley. Or in there. Those candles are really stuck in there. Yep, it's uh, an emergency bottle of water. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a shamelessly anachronistic gumball machine. Wow, they really captured his creepy overcaffeinated essence. <laughs> Have some respect. Lupin is the greatest genius in history. Whatever. I once saw him try to eat a burrito like it was corn on the cob. Hmm. Is there a concert going on in there? There is. Can I go in? You cannot. Tickets are sold out. Hmm. How do you know I don't have a ticket? <laughs> Call it a hunch. Hmm. Ticketed patrons only. Thank you. All right, all right. Whoa, a Stradivarius. That's like the Stradivarius, Stradivarius of violins. Put that back. Whoops. All right. <laughs> um, I guess we're going down the alley. Can I open my backpack? And I've got... A light bulb and a candle. Ooh. I think I hear something moving around in there. Are you there, little boy? Are you talking to me? Well, Sonny. Dude, I'm 26. Well, don't you have quite the imagination? Are you serious? I'm... <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the ring toss? Indeed it is. Oh boy! Can I play mister? Please? Oh, of course, Sonny. If you've got a few coins to spare, that is. Oh man, it's always something. Hmm. What do I get if I win? Tonight's prize is a ticket to the acclaimed Vienna Symphony. Whoa! Fancy. You bet your bottom. Hmm. What's with the creepy vase over there? Oh, that? It belongs to the snake charmer. Is he on break? I'm afraid he's in the hospital. <laughs> he had a touch too much of the drink and tried charming the flute by playing the cobra. Whoops. 
Ah, so that's what we need, the flute. Could I play just once without paying? Where I'm from, they let you play a little for free, and then suddenly you can't stop. I'm afraid not, lad. Portly carnival workers need to eat too. You understand? All right. Bye, ring toss, dude. Come back. Anytime. All right. Cool whack a mole. What? Cool whack a mole. Oh, it's busted. You never really stop to think about the moles while you're whacking them. <clears throat> High striker soothsayer. Interesting. Whoa. Are you a fortune teller? You got it. Fortunes, divinations, and prophetic prognostications. Only thing I don't do is palm reading. Oh. Or refunds. Could you tell my fortune? Huh? Oh, wish I could. But a dark and terrible evil has rendered me powerless. A ghost is draining you of your spiritual aura? Nah, some jerk tourist ran off with my crystal ball. Didn't see that coming, did you? What can I say? Divination is a mysterious and fecal craft. Uh... See you later. I'm not sure how those go together. See you later. I, I don't think that will work. Uh, will this work for a crystal ball replacement? Hey, thanks. This should work great. Let me repay the favor with a complimentary fortune. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Isn't free, right? That's the one. Awesome. Hmm. Hmm. The shapes are indistinct. Your fate seems yet undecided. Ooh. Wait, never mind. Somebody's definitely going to shoot you. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yep, it's right there in the ball. Whatever happened to divination is a mysterious and fecal graph. This time it was mysteriously clear. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thanks, I guess. We gonna get Tell shot? Friends. Test your might. Huh. Looks like I just missed the rainstorm. All right. Um... Are you sure somebody's going to shoot me? Sure as it gets. Now beat it. I don't want to die in the crossfire. Hmm. Bye, ring toss, dude. Come back. This is for setting prices, not paying for stuff. All right, how do I use a candle to get the flute? I guess maybe I cause a distraction and then run for it. Am I supposed to be a... Am I supposed to be a... Alright, hold on. There's a... Candle missing over here. Maybe I... <clears throat> yeah, that's probably safe. No, I'd rather not. Oh, I can just take the hammer. Cool. <clears throat> You're as weak as an inept research assistant. Guilty as charged. Hmm. You are as weak as an inept research as guilty as.
No, um, I think he's had enough. All right. What are we doing here? No, I'd rather... Trying to get in there. I don't want to be back. I'll be. I don't want to threaten that guy. Yeah, uh, but whoever owns. No, I'd rather. <laughs> Just try everything with everything. No. No. Oh, um. Lovely evening, isn't it? Mm hmm. Ah, cool, crisp air, a million stars in the sky. Hmm. It's all enough to make you wanna let somebody into a concert without a ticket. Right? Wrong. Alright, so we need the flute. So we need to cause a distraction. Ticketed patrons only. Yeah, yeah. It's titled, Lord Sebastian Tyker in a staring contest with a mirror? Legend has it he won. Maybe I just light the other candles. There's already enough light in here. No, eh? I wonder. Hey, got there. <clears throat> you expect me to pay just to park here? Think of it as a status symbol. Parking here says, I have so much money I wasted on parking for no reason. That is brilliant. Hey. Hey, we Franz, I see you've parked for free! Like a peasant! Oh. We've just invented the status economy. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, so. One ring toss, please. Here's your money. Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Step right up, hook a target, and win! Oh, so close! What the? There's no way the ring could get around one of those! Care for another go? Hmm. Bye, ring so we need to do something. One ring toss, please. Here's your money. Thank you, lad. Here's your ring.
I don't think water will do anything. We need to somehow stretch the ring. Oh! Like by using those metal cones. Hey! Behold! I have created art! Huh. It'd be a more provocative piece if the ring were a little further down. Uh, with a hammer? Man, I'm getting good at this stuff. My desire to create art has been trumped by my desire to pick up this comically oversized ring. Alright, alright. Now we should be able to win the ring toss. Behold! <clears throat> How the devil did you, you, you cheated me! You've been out-cheated, you cheaty cheater! Now where's my prize? Fine, here. Thank you. Alright, so now we have... A ticket. Read it and weep, cucumber face. One symphony ticket. What the? Uh, where did you find this? It doesn't matter and you know it. Now let me through. Oh, very well. Try not to ruin the entire performance with your blabbering. No promises. Snood. Snooty snood. Those are some seriously styling duds. Please present your claim ticket. If you wish to retrieve your garment. Hmm. All right. Need to steal me a claim ticket. Ooh, spittoon. It's a bunch of random papers. I'm not sure if any of them are useful. And I'm nauseous. Let there be light! Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So, uh, no way am I picking that up. But I like clowns. It's locked. Yeesh. I'm just gonna leave that up there. Is this mop made of human hair? Oh, sure is. Oh. Yuck. Ew. Ah! Cloth snake! Okay, yep, that is rope. Okay, there's got to be something we're supposed to do back here. Oh, probably unlock the closet somehow. Hmm. Is this made of green leather? Weird. Anyway, it looks like there's a piece of paper sitting at the top. Somebody will definitely notice if I try to grab anything out of there. Huh. These mop hairs kind of look like a bushy mustache. Ew. A mustache would definitely make me look older, but it doesn't make me look any fancier. Who is this guy anyway? Seriously, dude? That's Matthew Churchill! But most people call him the Phoenix of Might! By most people, do you mean just you? Pretty much. The Phoenix shall rise! <laughs> Shut up! Huh. I never really pictured this as headbanging music. You kidding? This dude is shredding right now! 
Play the Blind Devils of Torment! Keep it brutal. Until the bone worm takes us. Okay. Wow. Excuse me, have any of you seen... Shh. Of course. Alright, well... Uh, what do you want now? Just saying hi. <laughs> Please don't. Alright. Ooh, I wonder if we... Get a gumball with the anachronistic gumball machine. Yep. So. Oh, that's probably to stick the mustache on our stupid face. So we've got a hammer. We've got coins. Got a gumball for mustaching. Um. so easy to miss things. Oh. Why would somebody make a ladder this short? Wait a minute. Gnomes must be real. Okay. Slotted stick. That kind of looks like a flute. Uh... Oh, it kind of looks like a flute. What are you doing over there? Oh, uh, me? Uh, just admiring some fine musical craftsmanship. I've got my eye on you. Cool. So now do we go charm a snake? Oh, maybe the snake causes a distraction and we swipe the claim check from that purse. Flute. Face. It's horrible. Hey, this cobra knows good music when he hears it. <laughs> I am not a smart man. Good to know. Kelvin, are you there? What's your status? My status? Uh, it's, uh, good. Great. What progress have you made? Well, earlier I won a rigged carnival game, and just now I put a cobra in my backpack. No need to be a smartass, Kelvin. I'm not. I really did those things. Wow, that's much worse. Kelvin, please stop handling venomous things and start saving the world, okay? I'm on it. I mean, he just said he was not a smart man, but also, this is the way we're going to win this thing. So... Also, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I, I'm, I'm doing this before... Wait. Candlestick? Uh, I better not. That guy will throw me out. Okay. Uh, before work, and I'm gonna have to, like, go immediately. Alright. Let's use the Cobra on the wealthy people. <laughs> and we've got a claim check. Nice. I don't recall you checking any garments. Sounds like somebody's got a fuzzy memory. <laughs> Have a pleasant evening. Thanks. Oh man, we're gonna get a copyright claim, aren't we? For this stupid, um, music. Alright. This is super classy. 
but I'd still look too young in it. Uh, okay, so... Behold the perfect snooty disguise! Guess I was wrong Boom. about the gumball. Just call me Lord Kelvin. <laughs> uh, wait, I think that's taken. Good evening, smelly door person. I am filthy sausage smoker Abraham von Froman, and I demand admittance into this cosmopolitan beer hall. Good evening, Herr Froman. Please come right in. Wait a minute. Have I seen you here before, Herr Froman? But no, nope. I am visiting from Schnitzelberg. My mistake. Enjoy your evening, sir. <laughs> Schnitzelberg, eh? Well, in we go. Hooray! Kelvin, come in. I... Kelvin, why are you dressed like that fancy peanut? I use the power of disguise to sneak into an upscale bar. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm so glad you've prioritized drinking over the impending doom of the universe. Two birds with one stone, Lise. I have it on semi-decent authority that Beethoven is somewhere in this bar right now. Well, hurry up and get him back on track. The system's detected another temporal disturbance. Lupin's still at it. You can count on Abraham von Froman. Who is that? It's me. I invented a brilliant pseudonym to complete my disguise. Ugh, whatever works, Calvin. Okay. Well, there's the Beethoven. Excuse me, sir. Are you Ludwig van Beethoven? <clears throat> uh, sir? He can't hear you, uh, dumbass. Ludwig? Sir, are you Beethoven? Uh, who are you? What the places do you want? And speak up! What are you working on there? A world-changing musical masterpiece? <laughs> this, this is no music. It's a poem to help me soothe my pained and fizzled soul. Oh, can I hear what you've got so far? I close my eyes and scream. It does not reach my ear. Music is like a dream, one that I cannot hear. Oh. Yikes, maybe stick to instrumentals. Say that's, again. That's I sad. said that's really deep. That's sad, that's sad is what. I am here to help you write your next symphony. Ha! There will be no next symphony. Why not? You're so good. Perhaps you failed to notice, but I can barely hear a thing. I did notice. Hours ago, I was accosted by a wild-eyed shrub of a man from some infernal horn. He flooded my ears with a terrible screeching tone. Now. The only sound I hear clearly is that of this damned mug striking the table as I drink my misery away. Hmm. Wait, unbelievably chill. Are you the, the, uh, the dev? Let's... Not do those things. How the heck did you get in here? You don't meet the dress code at all. Easy. I've been in here since before they had one. <laughs> when did they start? I don't know. Four years ago? You, sir, are a legend. <laughs> Cheers to that, brother. I better be careful with these. I'm pretty allergic. Not to mention they've been here longer than I have. Nah, knowing my luck, I'd hit Beethoven and then the world even faster. Hmm. Advertisements used to be so subtle. <laughs> Alright. There's some characters in here for sure. Welcome, sir. What can I get you? Beer me barkeep. Give me the strongest thing you got. The Molaskia, sir? I'm afraid that particular drink requires a prescription. Whoa. How come? The last few patrons to order it experienced some ill effects. What, like a stomach ache? They imploded. Cool. <laughs> okay. I'll take a needlessly elaborate cocktail. Outstanding choice, sir. I'll prepare you my signature drink, the Ardolan Samimi. 
The September issue of Snobbery describes it as acerbic yet plummy with subtle hints of lavender and beef. You're really gonna like this. Baller! Well, sir, what can I get you just you? put that in your backpack. Beer me, barkeep. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We only have one beer left, and it's reserved for the winner of the rock paper scissors tournament. One beer? Yeah, that ornery composer over there has been drinking us dry. Okay. I'm good for now. I am at your sir. So I need to win this tournament. How do Hello, I win the tournament? Friend. <gasps> Take a seat and try your luck against the reigning, rain, reigning champion. You want me to arm wrestle that Jack dude? No chance. Oh, contraire, mon ami. No, no, no. Not arm wrestle. Pop shaker. Uh, Brock, prip, uh, bro, bro, Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yes, that one. Uh, that is the one right there in the middle. What do I get if I win? You get the most best prize in the world. Beer. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Let's do this. Beer. All right. Rock. Nice. Paper. Uh-oh. Paper. <laughs> you lose. What? What the heck what was the, that? Did you just shoot me? Oh, maybe this is what that fortune teller was talking about. Ah, looks like someone's never played played tournament rules before. Come back when you've studied up, kiddo. Okay. What business do you have with the shuffler? Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you about your work with Magic the Gathering Online. You, sir, have a lot to answer for. Ooh, can I show you a magic trick? The Shuffler does not deign to engage in petty trickery, magical or otherwise. He is the practitioner of an art. You would do well to respect it. Looks like somebody needs a drink refill. The Shuffler is awed by your observational prowess. If I bring you a drink, will you let me borrow your cards for a few minutes? <clears throat> the Shuffler is not one to make promises, but perhaps. The Kelvin will... The Shuffler does not appreciate your mockery. He sounds like Andy. Did you have business with the shuffler? What? I just gave you a drink. You said you'd let me borrow your cards. The shuffler recalls no such drink. <laughs> and no such bargain. You must remember, sir. Mm -hmm. You. You're a tricky one. Shifty eyed. I think he's salty enough. The Shuffler does not trust what he cannot completely destroy by chewing. That's, uh, really weird. Alright, let's check nice. out this party. Looks like a party. What's the occasion? Occasion? Bro, please! You don't need an occasion to pound the bruise with your bros, bro. Now come on, bro, join us in a broast. Uh, what? A broast, bro? A bro toast? Sure, let me go grab a mug. Hmm. All right. So, what are we missing here? I feel like I should have a shield, that shield, for being shot. 
Nobody's ever tried to kick you out in four years? Most folks in the bar don't even notice me no more. Watch. Hey, idiots! Y'all are a bunch of inbred, privileged dandies! See? That's incredible. Well, to be fair, the dude over there is pretty deaf. Bro, don't leave us hanging. Are we toasting or- Definitely. All right. <laughs> you lose again. Come on, how am I supposed to beat this guy if I don't even know what these throws mean? That's <laughs> your problem, buddy. All right. One dollar parking. What a ripoff. Yeah. Uh, I but. Oh, hello. You're new. Were you at the concert? The concert, yes. That is the place where I was. The concert. So, what did you think? The concert induced a range of emotions that is both appropriate and desirable for a concert. Well, good. I think. Good? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take a brief pause here, and I might be back with more, so... Alright, and we're back, and it's after work, and I have people over in the background, so hopefully it's not too loud, but, uh, where the heck were we? Um... Peanuts... Right, who are you? Creepy loiterer. Uh, right, we're trying to get a mug, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh... I'm no buggy expert, but whoever owns this one can definitely afford to pay for parking. Alright. Going inside to the place again. See if we can figure out. What business do you have with the shuffler? Uh... Looks like somebody needs a drink refill. The shuffler is awed by your observational prowess. The shuffler is not one to make promise. Looks like some. The, the, the shuffler. Right. The kill. The shuff. I think we tried this. Welcome, but... sir. What can I? Give me this, Malaskia, sir. I'm afraid that particular drink requires a prescription. Whoa. How come? The last few patrons to order it experienced some ill effects. What? Like a stomachache? They imploded. Cool. Okay, so that's what we need. I'm good for now. I am. So we need a prescription, I guess? Uh, that's just gonna get me. Nice. Looks like. Occasion! You don't. Now come on! Uh, what? A brooch? Sure! Need a mug. Not gonna bother him. Super chill guys. How the not... heck did you get it? Easy. When did I don't know. Use. Hmm. Nobody's ever tried to kick most folks. In... Hey, that's incredible. Well, be fair. For somebody who hasn't left the building in four years, you don't smell all that bad. What can I say? Clean mind, clean body. Somehow, I'm guessing that doesn't apply here. Fine. I scrub myself down with tonic water when the bartender goes on break. <laughs> Happy? Gross. Nah. All right.
Like, you're new. You must have something. Right? Were you at the concert? The concert. Yes, that is the place where I was. The so... The concert induced a range of emo... Oh, good. Good? Rock in the pocket. Yes, it is chilly. Oh. That would be unhuman, unlike me, an adult male human. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, I missed something so, there. So, are you from around here? Please specify a frame of reference. Uh, Vienna? One moment, one moment, one moment. No. Why do we have a robot? I'd rather not. He's giving... Why is there a robot? Oh, you're new too. Bookworm, Dapper Snacker. Those, those are some. Oh, there's there's more people. Doctor Krizlink, concert goers. What did you two think of the show? Oh, it was simply exhilarating. I feel so alive. <laughs> Don't you, Mortimer? Yes, Angelica. So alive. I feel as if, as if I could sing like the stars in the sky. Okay. And the stars in your eyes. You're, You're the, the light, light of my life. That wasn't uh, bad, actually. Bravo. I guess. Excuse me, Mr. Krizlink. Dr. Krizlink. Uh, can I help you? Uh, <laughs> uh. My legs feel all mushy. I fell off a horse and my lung popped. Sure. My legs feel all mushy. I need a prescription for Melaskia before it's my too legs. late. Feel all mushy. I need a prescription for Melaskia before it's too late. Hmm, likely a mild case of syphilis. Indeed. Indeed. I recommend six iodine tablets and a week's bed rest. Dang it. Oh, I fell off a horse and my lung popped. Surely Melaskia is the only cure. Hmm, a popped lung usually unpops itself within a day or two. Indeed. Indeed. Weak tea and a four-hour headstand should accelerate the healing process. Oh, come on! I just pooped oh, out my brain. I just pooped out my brain! I need Melaskia now! Hardly. A good bloodletting should get your humors back in alignment. Indeed. Indeed. Come by my office tomorrow. I'll prepare the leeches. Amazing! I'm suddenly cured. All right. We know he's allergic to peanuts, right? Hey, Doc. You think I could have that Melasia prescription now? Good heavens! An acute facial dysmography! Oh, this affliction is far beyond my ability to treat. Here. Enjoy one last beverage before your head blows up. My condolences. Thanks. Wow. Wow. Ha! I haven't pulled that trick since my organic chemistry final. Wow. No, I'd rather... What a jerk. All right, let's talk to the Dapper Snacker. Ooh, are those donut holes? Mud balls. What one? Ooh, what's in a mud ball? Mud. I'll pass. Bookworm. Whoa. Whoa? Whoa, what? According to this guidebook, there's an enormous devil chipmunk painted on the ceiling of the lobby. I don't see anything. Made you look. Oh, real mature. That's funny. Yep, it's uh, an emergency. All right. Well, we have the Molaski. Oh, I bet we make the uh, the gambler blow up so we can get his cards. But why do we need his cards? Oh, we'll find out.
Welcome, sir. What can I get you? Give me the straw. I'm gonna ask. Whoa. The last few. What? Like a stop day in. Oh. I'm good for now. I prescription. One Melaskia, please. Oh, uh, here's my prescription. Very good, sir. Before I make this, however, I am required to inform you of the following disclaimers. Melaskia is not recommended for consumption by the ill or infirm. Do not drink Melaskia with other forms of alcohol. Do not drink Melaskia before or after operating a threshing machine. Do not drink Melaskia in the vicinity of a fountain or decorative clock. Do not drink Melaskia in Spain. Do not drink Melaskia during an existential crisis. Do not spell Melaskia. Do not drink Melaskia upside down. <laughs> Do not think that drinking Melaskia somehow makes you better than Melaskia. If Melaskia asks you a question, do not answer. And finally, do not, 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 not drink Melaskia. Do you acknowledge and accept these disclaimers, sir? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Gimme. Achievement unlocked? I have an achievement. All right, sure. Let's give the Melaskia to the Shuffler. The Shuffler wants nothing to do with that caustic swill. Oh. All right, maybe we toast them. Whoa, 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 bro! If you toast with that, it might explode! Killing us all, bro! Serious party foul, bro! Hmm. I don't think that will work. All right, what do we need the Melaskia for? Used to be so subtle. Welcome, sir. Fear me, barkeep. Oh, I'm sorry, and it's res one B. Yeah, that. Right. Okay. I'm so good we... for now. I am. Welcome, so sir. We can't get bar, or we can't get beer. Another Ardalan Samimi, if you please. Coming right up. with that it might break glass everywhere bro total party foul bro Ugh. Well, I'm just wandering around here now, because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Thinking. What can you tell me about rock, paper, scissors? This burly guy keeps throwing stuff I've never seen before. Hmm. I'm afraid the crystal balls told us everything it can. The spirits might be able to help, though. With the right tool, I can channel their guidance. The right what tool? What kind of tool? Oh, you know, something stereotypically mystical. Maybe tea leaves or tarot cards. Leave it to me. Oh, okay, so we... Hmm. So we need the gambler's cards for that, which means we need to... Wait. <laughs> Got there. <laughs> you for the cocktail. All right.
God, these games are so ridiculous. Like, how was I supposed to... I guess I figured it out. But how was I supposed to figure it out? Here you are, Mr. Shuffler. It's the bartender's latest creation. The, uh, Alice. Subversively sweet, with notes of dolphin and basement mold. The Shuffler accepts your gift with skepticism and curiosity. <laughs> All right, then. I'm sure it'll be fine. We now have cards. Ha uh -huh. All right, so. What will the cards tell us about rock, paper, scissors? Will this deck of cards work? Yes, these should do the trick. Let's see. The answer to your quandary is lost forever at the bottom of the Dead Sea. What? I can't even swim! Wait, oh, sorry, sorry, cards were upside down. The answer to your quandary is at the bottom left corner of a parchment wall. Oh, cryptic. You know it. A parchment wall, eh? Bottom left corner of that. No. Wait, there's a poster in the thing. In the thing. In the place. Advertisements used to be so subtle. Maybe not that. I ain't rip. All right, dude gives you the heebie jeebies. I get you. Where's this parchment wall of which they speak? Ah. Gun. Horn. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock? It's too mainstream for me. I was always more of a scissors guy. Heck yeah, scissors. Can't lose with scissors. Brock, it's too mainstream. Real talk. Anybody who tells you they like throwing paper is lying. Weird. Gun beats rock, paper, and scissors, but horns beat gun? Horns, huh? They lose to rock, paper, and scissors, but beat gun, for some reason. Hmm. Weird. It's like... Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, but not. All right, so he always throws gun for the third throw. So we have to throw horns, scissors. Horns. <laughs> Ooh, take that silent scowling guy. You just got wrecked. <laughs> oh, 
god. Uh, I mean, uh, thank you for the friendly and competitive match. Please don't rip off my arms. Did I won? I won. I have the beer chip. No. No, no. Give the beer chip to the bartender. One victory beer, please. Uh, hey, there's a giant hole in my mug? Yes, sir. I added that to let the beer breathe properly. It should improve mouthfeel. Well, okay, uh, except the beer just spilled all over the counter. Oh, right. Liquids. Sorry, sir. I'd pour you a replacement, but we're all out. Hmm. I'm not sure how those go together. No way these bros will let me toast with an empty mug. Help. How the heck did you get it? Easy. Well, I don't know. You, sir. <laughs> no, I'd rather not. Nah, no one. Mm. Oh, maybe I'm fi Now it's chewed gum, fixed mug. All right, so what do I put in the mug? <sighs> Nice. Looks like a party. What's the occasion? Occasion? Bro, please. You don't need an occasion to pound the bruise with your bros, bro. Now come on, bro. Join us in a brost. Uh, what? A bro All right. The only place I can think of that there's liquid is this water spout. That way it's not empty, but it doesn't look like water. I guess. Still a robot there. It's a lot of back and forth in these games, eh? All right. Can we finally toast? All right, bros. Let's do this. Heck yeah, bro. <gasps> oh. Wow. That was dumb. Do <laughs> That would be Beethoven's fifth. Kelvin, temporal lattice instability just fell by 30%? No! Kelvin, that's a good thing. Oh. Yay! I kind of can't believe it, but whatever you're doing is actually working. So you're saying I can come home now and binge watch Star Snails? Y what? No. We need to get you to the next temporal anomaly immediately. But Star Snails... Kelvin, you can't watch star snails if Lupin implodes the universe. Yeah, fine. Beam in the shower or whatever. Beaming in now. See you on the other side, Kelvin. Hooray. Ugh, drain hair.
Next up, 17th century London. Famed mathematician Isaac Newton has abruptly ceased his research, and I couldn't read that. Good grief. <laughs> nice hoverboard. Eat your heart out, McFly. Oh, no. No, no, my hoverboard. You there, Kelvin? Present and accounted for. All right. The system says you're in London now, and odds are good you're there to help Isaac Newton. The science fiction dude. You're thinking of Isaac Asimov. Yeah, you are. The uh, violinist. Eat suck, Perlman. Ah, the Swedish tennis player. Kelvin, that's Bjorn Borg. <sighs> Look, in 1672, Isaac Newton published groundbreaking research on the nature of optics. And after that... Nothing else? Bingo. Lupin must have meddled with Newton's later research somehow. Gotcha. Uh, I'll get him back on track. Do we, uh, know what else he might have been working on? I have no clue, but I imagine he does. Good luck, Kelvin. Okay. So, we've completed a chapter. So let's, uh, yes. Head back to the main screen. Main screen, turn on. Ooh, what's this? Hidden picks. I missed hidden picks? Oh, well. Well. Thank you for joining me here today on Game of Air while we played Kelvin and the Infamous Machine. Uh, it was fun. It was in two parts, so I uh, hope you're okay with the join, where however that happens, I'll figure it out. Probably with a doodly doo, wibbly woo, whatever. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the old thumbs up. Give it some love. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Remember that the first video on this channel to get 100 likes will get that game a full playthrough as a bonus video for the channel so if you want to see the rest of kelvin and the infamous machine all you have to do is give this video some love and have your family friends pets and loved ones all do the same if you're not already subscribed to this channel please hit that subscribe button and when you do don't forget to hit that dingy bell because that will let you know when I upload new videos, which I do every single day. My name is Step. We have been playing Kelvin and the Infamous Machine here today on Game of Dare. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for joining me. And please come back tomorrow when we'll be playing something. Thanks, everybody.